The embattled city of Barmut has been the center of ongoing fighting between Russia and Ukraine for months. Ukrainian troops continue to counterattack around Barmut. Russia has suffered sizable personnel losses, and Ukrainian defense forces advanced to KM near Barmut this week without surrendering any positions. Within days, Ukrainian troops had liberated about 20 square kilometers from the Russians in the northern and southern suburbs of Bamut, as fierce fighting for the town continued. As reported by Ukraine Forum, Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malyar announced this on Telegram. He noted that information about the course of hostilities must be considered in the complex of all defense operations and must not be taken out of the context of events. He also emphasized that the Russian army made some advances on Bahmut itself, completely destroying the city with artillery. In addition, the enemy is upgrading professional paratrooper units. Fierce fighting is underway with different results. In the current situation, our troops are doing their best and even more. Malyar noted, the fact that Bakhmut's defense held out for many months and there was progress in certain areas is the strength of our fighters and the high professionalism of the defense command. He also reminded us that the enemy had superior numbers and weapons. Today, Ukrainian gunners demonstrated how they destroyed two Russian 2S5 self-propelled guns. As reported by Ukraine Forum, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine announced this on Facebook and published a related video. The artillery of the 44th Separate Artillery Brigade named Hetman and Low Apostol destroyed the Russian 2S5 self-propelled gun, which in turn caught a combat unit with it, hitting it with its ammunition at a distance of 70 meters, the message read. Over the past few days, units of the aviation and missile forces of the Ukrainian armed forces have also carried out numerous raids on control points, personnel concentration areas, and military equipment of the Russian occupiers. As reported, the Ukrainian defense force is eliminated around 199,460 Russians and 520 aggressors over the past 24 hours. According to Russian media, Russian troops have also managed to occupy the advantageous bridgehead to Kapiansk. The Russian military has stepped up its operations in the Kapiansk region, revitalizing the region, which has been relatively quiet for the past three months. According to reports, the assault group managed to liberate the village of Masyudovka, which is located north of Kapiansk. However, over the past 24 hours, Russian units managed to gain a foothold on the right bank of the Oskar River, south of the Dvyuknaya settlement. Ukrainian troops used this position to actively bombard the positions of the Russian armed forces, preventing the further advance of Russian troops. Having taken control of the bridgehead, the Russian army will be able to increase pressure on the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kapiansk region. In the future, this will also facilitate the installation of pontoon crossings, and ensure the crossing of Oskar with large units. It is clear that after prolonged fighting in this direction, the armed forces of Ukraine began to gradually lose the initiative. Meanwhile, Wagner Group fighters stationed in the center of Barmut were captured like mice in a mouse trap as Ukrainian troops attempted to envelop the besieged city in an act of counterattack. Colonel General Oleksandr Sierski said on Telegram on Tuesday that after a visit to the front line in Donetsk, the region where Bahmut is located, he believed his troops destroyed the Russian plan to finally take the town, which has become the site. Analysts believe that Ukraine's eastern group forces are attempting to double cover against Bahmut, using forming operations, a type of probing warfare that leads to retaliatory strike. While Wagner Group troops continued fighting in the city center, with Prigozhin claiming that the defenders controlled only 0.6 square miles of the area, the Ukrainians moved forward and crushed the Russians on their side. The fighting, though violent and incessant, was currently largely on the western side of the city, but Ukrainian forces appear to have turned back months of the Russian advance. While Wagner focused on clearing private residential areas in western Bahmut, According to a mill blogger affiliated with the Kremlin, the Russian reinforcements in the vicinity appeared to be losing ground, 
leaving the mercenaries at risk of being trapped in the city. Meanwhile, the Institute for the Study of War said in an assessment that the Russian Ministry of Defense was trying to deflect attention from Ukraine's recent gains near the city by praising its own defense efforts. Anton Geshenko, advisor to the Minister for Ukraine, in an interview, explained the importance of Barmut remaining under Ukrainian control. Barmut was a living wall that allowed us to prepare our forces for deoccupation, he said implying that a successful defense of the city could put Ukrainian troops in a position to launch a much-anticipated counter-offensive. Many analysts say Russia is seeking to use the city as a springboard toward its goal of capturing the entire Donbass region, one of Russian President Vladimir Putin's declared war goals. Yeah. <laughs>